Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and this is the Storyteller Forecast for Cancer for December 2013. So if Cancer is your sun sign or Cancer is your rising sign, then this is for you. Definitely go to my website, AnnieHelpsYou.com, or click on the link below this video to scroll down and check out many, many, many testimonials from my clients so that you can see in their words, these are people from all over the world who have consulted with me, um, what goes on in a session and how they feel afterwards and what it provides for them. This time of year is awesome for... Um, the type of clarity and understanding and direction that a session with me can bring. So definitely check it out. What's up for Cancer for December 2013? The first thing that I see is this new moon, this gorgeous new moon in Sagittarius in your sixth house. The sixth house is um, related to pets and animals, discipline, health and lifestyle, body-mind connection, daily work, routine, meditation, yoga, anything that would be a daily practice. So many of you are going to feel a new surge or a new passion for making certain adjustments within your health. Some of you will be getting a new pet or have a new pet come into your life in some way. Um, and some of you may also just have a new opportunity to be more busy with work, a new project or something. Um, so in any case, uh, that's very exciting. Venus has just been moving through your seventh house, so for those of you who have gotten engaged or married, congratulations. Sometimes a Venus transit will bring that. Venus is going to be going retrograde in the same seventh house, which is going to bring things back from the past. Now, this is not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. This just is an is thing. If you have had wonderful things that you and your partner would do in the past, then maybe you'll bring those back as a resurgence in your current relationship, or you might return to a place where you met, or that you loved, or something like that. Also, um, Venus in retrograde can bring up questions that have not been resolved from the past, so if that happens, and you recently moved, have moved into a deeper stage of a relationship, don't panic. Venus retrograde is a perfectly appropriate time to ask the deeper questions so that you can strengthen your relationship. There will be some people that after the Venus retrograde um, transit, they will decide that with the questions that they ask and the answers that they get, they're deciding to not move forward in the relationship. But it's not a good time to try to make decisions because emotions may be ruling in triggered past things, um, and you're not going to have a full, clear view of the situation until the transit is direct, which is in February at which point Mercury will go retrograde and have its own set of um, cloudy things. But in any case, just know that this is going to happen and be aware um, when it does to not be nervous that this is connected to this transit. And for most of you, many of you, you will come out of this transit with a stronger relationship than you went in with. So uh, let's see what else is going on. There's pretty harmonious energy throughout the first three weeks of December. The last week of December um, into New Year's has a lot of chaotic, um, possibly challenging energy. There will be a Mars-Uranus opposition, um, and these, these planets will be squaring Pluto. So, the energy is going to come up very strongly in the home versus work versus relationship sector. So whenever I see a T-square like this, it always makes me think of striving to find a balance and also being deadlocked in the attempt to find a balance, feeling stuck. If you remember from the deadlock that we had in August, things got tense, things got strongly tense, 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 and then it started to break and release after that. So there'll be a similar sort of gathering of tension and releasing of tension. But you may have noticed in many cases, things that were tense are you're better off for having looked at those things now after the transit. But it's good to be aware of this because many of you will be spending time with family or friends or traveling or doing these different kinds of things. So to be aware that during that time, these, these pressured energies may also be occurring. It doesn't doom anyone to not have wonderful holidays. On the contrary, it can serve to having even greater holidays, but just an awareness. Try to keep your environment as stress-free as possible so that when the tensions do come, you're not adding those stresses upon the other stresses. If you can resolve as much um, in your field before stepping into this time, and this is on every level, so your exercise routine will help, your new meditation routine, if that's how you use the energy. Pets can very often help with stress. Um, so whatever the new thing that's, that you're introducing in the beginning of December, that 
thing can help you to manage the stresses that may come towards the end of December. You'll have time to implement your new routine, which is great. Um, let's see what else. Um, we want you to respond and not react when these energies come. And so sometimes we find that regardless of how hard we try, we still are having same reactions to things. And this is generally based in a situation called PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. Traumas that we experience throughout our lives can be held on as a pattern where we have a response that seems irrational to other people but seems perfectly normal in some ways to us, yet we can't stop doing it. I've found two resources that I think to be amazing for this post-traumatic stress disorder. One is a resource called EMDR, and you can look for an EMDR practitioner um, local to you. It's a type of psychological therapy that um, can, has, known to be, has been known to be very useful for post-traumatic stress disorder, regardless of the origins. The second tool is a class called Emotional Mastery, offered by a brilliant U.S. practitioner named Juniper Clare. You can go to my website, AnnieHelpsYou.com, and click on my new Life U University tab, which will be where I'm going to bring out um, many courses based on you, Life U University, um, courses and programs to help you better your life. The first course on there is something I didn't put together, is Juniper Clare's course, because it came to me in a time that the astrology seemed relevant to have that type of resource available. So it's the first thing that you'll see on there. It's the only thing at this point you'll see on there. And definitely feel into it, read about it, see if it's for you, because it's going to help a lot of people to manage this. You start working with those resources in the beginning part of de December, or even earlier if you're listening to this in November, then by the time those challenging transits happen at the end of December, you've set yourself up for not doing the same thing the same way over and over again and responding differently even if the stimulus is the same, which is so often uh, occurring in family and settings. So I can't see anything going on in your personal chart. I'd like very much to, if you'd like a personal reading, send me a message through my site, AnnieHelpsYou.com. If you want to learn astrology and you resonate with how I present it, then sign up for my online astrology series at a seriously low price for a massive amount of information. And um, if you have found something to be of value in this video, then please share it through Facebook, share it through Twitter, share it through email with your friends, because consciousness is contagious. And a unique or expanded perspective on things um, can assist in someone having a different quality of experience than they might. So I hope that you have a wonderful December. Bye.